part of the, uh, our objective on this birdie project is we are looking at uh, two phase components. The first phase is, Ms. Kano, we are looking at whether switchgrass could be having any grazing potential on it. Um, most of the producers down in southern Oklahoma, Ms. Kano, know, they are already in forage grazing systems itself. So they are trying to look at whether they can integrate uh, this uh, switchgrass into their existing systems rather than just completely replacing their, uh, their system. And uh, not, uh, not much work is done on grazing of switchgrass, looking uh, how well it can take uh, the grazing uh, intensity. Uh, we're looking at uh, two different projects on grazing itself. The first project, what we're looking at is different stocking rates on just one switchgrass variety, means uh, on Alamo, which is a lowland uh, cultivar. What we did is uh, we looked at uh, one animal per acre and two animals per acre and three animals per acre heads. When we looked at it, uh, depending upon the stocking intensity, uh, the number of grazing days varied. But if you're looking at uh, the total gain or the uh, average daily gain, there was no significant difference among each one of them. Uh, so uh, with a low stocking intensity, we had 84 days of grazing, and a bit, uh, with, which was uh, one animal per acre. And a medium stocking density, we had uh, 48 days gra of grazing, as well as uh, the high stocking density, we had 28 days of grazing. And the second part of that one is first we looked at the after stocking density, we thought, okay, we are comfortable with the medium stocking density. Then we wanted to look at, okay, on the first project, we've just pulled off the cattle as soon as uh, the grass hit uh, around 7 centimeters high. We wanted to know, okay, if we can do a rotational grazing, can we increase the number of grazing days? So that's the second phase what we are looking with uh, right now is looking at the uh, grazing, uh, rotational grazing. So we are looking at uh, one pad system compared to one pad system is where we are looking at continuous grazing, which was the original case in the first project. On this one, we have one pad all the way up to five pads. It's kind of divided into five paddocks and then with the same stocking rate. So that gives it's kind of different rest periods also. Uh, for the switchgrass itself. Without any grazing, we were able to get 15,000 kilograms per uh, hectare, or I mean, it's pretty much 14,000 pounds per acre basis. Uh, and then if you are using any stocking density, I mean, the stocking density had an effect on the final biomass yield. If you're looking at the medium and the high stocking density, the biomass yield was just half of without any grazing itself. On the low stocking density, uh, the biomass was two-thirds of what without there was any grazing at all. So a farmer can uh, weigh in with kind of what is the cattle gains and everything, and then it's kind of how much, what is the biomass price and everything. So he could pretty much decide which system he wants to go into. And then the second project will give us more details, which we'll probably know in a couple of years. Mm -hmm.